Hi, I'm Charlie. Mohammed here has asked us, will house rents get any cheaper? Mohammed, it's very hard uh, to answer the question because we don't have crystal balls. Um, all I will say is that you know there's nothing that I can foresee in the market that's really going to shift the house prices to, to start rising. Um, so there may still be a steady decline over the next few months, but who knows? The Eva's asked a question here that says, are there any extra charges to watch out for when renting a property? There shouldn't be any extra charges, Ava, but obviously what you need to consider is just the, all the charges that come as a standard, you know, so your security deposit, the broker fee, plus all of the government charges like your Ajari, your DWA connection, confirm that with the broker, and it should all be mentioned in your tenancy contract so you know exactly what you're signing up to. Jenny's asked quite a common question I hear, hear the agents dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Should I buy off-plan property or ready-made property? Jenny depends on your circumstances. Um, if you're looking to move into the property now, naturally you're gonna have to look something ready-made. If you're in a position where you can financially commit to an off-plan property and you like the development, like the what's up and coming in the community, then potentially that's something for you. But obviously you have to consider where you're gonna stay for the, the one, two, three years whilst it's being constructed. Hisham has asked us here today, is now the right time to buy property in Dubai? Um, I wholeheartedly believe so, Hisham. You know, the price is a really good starting point for anyone either looking to get into the market for the first time or someone maybe looking for their second, third, fourth purchase. Dipti's asked us here, should she be upgrading her property or keeping it as standard? Simply, if you do upgrade your property, Dipti, what you're going to do is change the supply and demand element for any tenants or buyers that are looking to purchase or rent a property. When they see it, it might create a bit more urgency as they know that they might not find another property down the road that looks the same. But be careful not to overcapitalize your investment. Don't spend too much money on it because you may not get it back on the rent or on the resale price. Jackie's a landlord and she's asked us, what is the one thing that she should remember to ask her agents? Jackie, ask her, your agent about their transaction history, you know, how active are they in the market and particularly within your community. Also, push on that and work out how many people are working within their company for that community just to make sure that you're going to get the right level of footfall for viewings, uh, which will ultimately lead to the offers and then the rental of your property. For any tenants or buyers looking in the market, rest assured, dealing with the right agencies and the right agents, along with property finders guides, you're going to be in very, very safe hands working with top professionals in the real estate market in Dubai to make sure that the purchase is as smooth or the rental is as smooth as possible. If you want to know more about buying or renting in the UAE, be sure to check out Property Finders Guides. Approved by House & House Real Estate.